Hello everyone, and uh, apologies for the location and any background noise. Uh, like many of you, I'm stuck at home due to the restrictions and uh, it can be a struggle to find somewhere quiet. The uh, reason for all this is of course COVID-19, which continues to have a devastating effect on all aspects of our lives. Um, and the aviation industry is not being spared. In fact, it's, it's one of the hardest hits and most countries around the world have seen a 90, 95% reduction in air traffic as most passenger services have been suspended across the globe. There are some notable exceptions, the US in particular. Uh, yesterday, the US president suggested the possibility of curtailing domestic flights, just not now. And China has uh, increased its services as it um, still appears to be coming out the other end of its uh, coronavirus problem. And cargo services remain largely unaffected too. As we said before, I'd really encourage you to sign up for Osprey Open, uh, which is our new free and continually updated um, platform providing loads of useful information, including COVID-19 related visualizations and data on cases, um, no terms, restrictions, and you'll find details for this in the post description. COVID-19 hasn't led to a reduction in conflict zone activity, and we've been paying close attention to this as it continues with a regular rhythm in some cases, um, and could be seen as a potential opportunity for some activities to slip under the radar. Um, in Syria, we saw another set of suspected Israeli airstrikes on Tuesday, um, launched from Lebanese airspace, and um, Syrian air defences were activated as usual. Uh, it felt like these were almost overdue, um, having not seen any since early March, and I think we can expect them on at least a monthly basis in future. Uh, we've also seen the Houthi rebels step up their launches from Yemen into Saudi Arabia, with drones and missiles into the southwest provinces of Saudi Arabia, uh, but also two ballistic missiles targets in Riyadh, uh, which were uh, downed by Patriot air defence systems. Uh, as well as the potential threat to aviation entities on the ground, this uh, also raises the risk of misidentification and accidental shootdown. In Russia, the ongoing near daily slew of bomb threats against passenger services in flight uh, continues apace. Uh, we've seen over 120 since the start of March, uh, resulting in emergency landings across the country. Um, all have been considered hoaxes. Uh, they reportedly mainly emanate uh, from emails from anonymous perpetrators uh, seeking to extort bitcoins from the authorities. We're also keeping a close eye on developments um, in Iraq as rhetoric between the US and Iran has increased again in recent days following the US deployment of Patriot missiles in Iraq. Um, further Iranian-backed militia rocket attacks in the country are possible, along with US airstrikes in response. Again, don't forget to sign up for Osprey Open. Details uh, in the post. And uh, above all, take care.